Alrighty boys, welcome to the YouTube video guys. Today we're going to be unboxing a brand new PlayStation 5. It is launch day. I managed to get a pre-order in like September or October whenever pre-orders were announced. I managed to get a uh, unit which I'm super, super stoked about as they were really, really hard to come by. Man, I've never had a console off release. So I'm actually really, really excited to uh, get my hands on this and um, play some games, man. First off, all I want to say is the packaging is really, really good. And the console is quite weighty, dude. It's actually quite a heavy console. The box is pretty big and it feels pretty heavy, so I'm gonna I'm gonna assume it's huge. Um, but yeah, packaging is pretty good. Pretty it's pretty similar to what the PS4 one was like. If you guys ever got a PS4, um, I'm not sure how it compares to the Xboxes. I haven't seen one in person yet, but so far it's looking so damn good. Let's get into it. Have a controller bunch of manuals uh, like anyone reads that I've never read a console manual in my life dude got a power cable on the top it's actually packaged really really well has these like three compartments when you open it um, had the controller on the right I uh, had the manuals on the left and then in the middle had the power cable so it's actually packaged really really well let's have a look at this controller I've heard so many things about this controller dude first off I just want to say is that not a pretty controller man it it, it, it's made of a different material. It actually feels really, really nice. It kind of feels more grippy. It, honestly, it, it feels really, really comfortable. It feels very similar to what the PS4 felt like. Um, it's good for claw players. I, as I play claw. Um, it feels comfortable on your hand. It feels very similar to the PS4, if not more comfortable. It they, it's, feels like an Xbox, but it's different. It's hard to pinpoint what it is. It's like it's just a little bit wider and a little bit longer, I feel. Um, but yeah, no, controller looks and feels amazing. I, lo I love the look of these like clear buttons. I think it, I think it's sick. Um, touchpad feels kind of weaker. That's one thing I have to say. The touchpad feels slightly weaker. I don't know why, just, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. It feels slightly weaker. The analogs feel really, really smooth. Analogs feel great. The buttons feel really nice as well. The triggers feel good. So far, I'm loving this controller. This is, this is an amazing uh, level up from what the PS4 controller was, so. Yeah, it's one thing I actually do have to say is it's it feels heavier. It feels kind of like um I used to game I used to have an Xbox Elite Series 2 controller. And um that was like the heaviest controller I ever had. And this feels kind of similar to that. It feels maybe slightly lighter, but it is definitely has a bit more weight on it, which isn't a bad thing. But um yeah, something to note. Slightly heavier controller. Obviously, you don't really need to see the power cable. It's pretty standard. It is a slightly smaller cable, I feel, but it really just depends on like, where your setup is and how far away it is from the power source, but it shouldn't really be that much of an issue. Obviously, the manuals and stuff, I never read them, but if you ever really need to, I mean, whatever you need to find will be in here. It's a secret compartment, dude. I didn't even know this. What have we got here, dude? Uh, so we got a cable to uh, charge your controller. They actually did, they changed what type of controller, uh, ca they changed what type of cable they used to charge the controllers now. Um, it isn't one of the uh, micro USBs, but yeah, it's different from your original uh, micro USB cable that you got with the PS4 and with the PS3. I've heard that this type of port, I can't remember the name right now, but I've heard that it charges faster. It's like a stronger power source or whatever. So um, I guess, I mean, we'll, I guess we'll have to put it to the test and suss it ourselves. But yeah, there you go, cable. And all right, we've got a HDMI cable, which is pretty standard for it to come with your console. And I believe this is the stand. Yep, so we've got a stand with our console. Um, the console is a very weird shape from photos I've seen. So, I mean, this is probably going to be a massive help because it's going to—it's quite big from what I've heard. So this is going to help it, you know, set up and whatnot because just that, the, the shape of the console looks so strange. I couldn't imagine it standing up and like, you know, not being at risk of falling quite easily if it wasn't on a stand because of just the shape of it and everything. So this will come in handy. Oh my god, bro. Alrighty. Let's have a look, dude. It's all wrapped up. Dude, this is massive, bro. Holy. Woo! Oh my god, bro. It's huge. It's heavy, man. Oh. And as you guys can see, the PlayStation 5, dude. Oh my god, this thing is so clean. Whoa, bro. It's actually super heavy, dude. What the? It's actually, like, that feels way heavier than what the PS4 did. Um, but yeah, 
Console looks fancy as been. I actually like it. A lot of people were making fun of it, saying it looked like a taco and whatnot, you know. I think this is a clean bro. I'm about it. I like it. Um, it's got a bit of a wave going on here. I reckon it's pretty cool. I got the disc version. I prefer to have hard copies of uh, my games rather than digital. Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like from the front. It's a little bit bigger. I'm sure the digital one would be a little bit lighter. Um, and obviously it would take up a lot less space because it doesn't have the disc compartment. On the back of the console, it's looking pretty normal for most consoles. It's got a power source, Ethernet connection. Uh, it's got a USB slot, HDMI. It's looking pretty standard, but as you guys can see all back here, there's a lot of open spaces on the console, uh, which is really good for airflow, you know, not so the console doesn't overheat and whatnot. Um, which is, this is such a, just an amazing design of a console, dude. It's so different. It's, it's so big, dude, like honestly. Look how big it is. It's, it's actually huge. Like, seriously, dude. Look how big it is, man. It's actually crazy, man. But yeah, so far, this console's looking amazing. I'm really, really excited to plug it in and get it set up and get gaming, man. Over the weekend, I'm going to make a Fortnite gameplay video on the PlayStation 5, telling you guys my thoughts on if it is worth the purchase or not. Um, I'm really, really excited to download all these different games and give them a try, uh, especially Fortnite, guys. You know I love my Fortnite, all right? So... Yeah, really, really excited to get this uh, plugged in and powered up and get everything installed and start gaming. So I appreciate everybody that's watched the video today, guys. Make sure you guys all drop a like and uh, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Um, and yeah, I'm going to get gaming, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you guys all for watching.